It's 3.30 a.m. and we have arrived in the Pearl of Africa, Uganda. Just sitting here waiting for the sun to rise, waiting for it to pull back that dark curtain that's been covering this beautiful country. We've been here for about an hour now and have already experienced lots of wildlife. After enjoying a great breakfast, we've checked the map and we've planned our adventures. This is our new home away from home for the next five days. Time to get comfy. Oh, here we go, the chaos. The chaos of Kampala. That's what he's, he's talking about. Not even yet. Looking around Uganda, you can't help but be awestruck how busy and chaotic this place is. We're not even close to Kampala, the capital city which is supposed to be crazy busy. I've heard a lot of people compare it to big cities like in India. Arafat, our safari leader and escort, has informed me that we will not be going to Kampala and bypassing it completely, just so we can avoid unnecessary traffic. We have about a seven hour drive to get to our destination at the Queen Elizabeth National Park. Don and I have been traveling for over 26 hours now, so we might have to sleep through this drive. Selling everything, selling clothes, furniture, building supplies, metal doors, fresh food. It looks like a thriving economy to me. You can definitely sense that there's a strong sense of community here amongst the people in Uganda. You can really see everybody helping each other out, which is really nice to see. just after a couple hours and what a transformation. Uganda's gone from brown to green. Boy, is it ever green. Just gorgeous. An interesting fact that someone had shared with me here in Uganda was uh, that their populations are one of the youngest in the world. And um, after being there for a week, um, it makes sense. And boy, there is a lot of kids. I mean, a lot of kids. But who doesn't like kids? We finally made it to Queen Elizabeth National Park. Only eight hours later. What a drive. Just taking in this gorgeous view from our balcony here in Pumba Safari Cottages. Just beautiful. Even though they say this is a budget accommodation, we didn't find anything budget about it at all. It was beautiful, the beds were great, and the views, unbelievable. We better turn in early today though, we gotta get up nice and early. Because tomorrow we're at chimpanzee trekking.
quite the sight to see when you're up early, early in the morning and seeing all these kids getting ready for school. And you can tell school's not close. I'm sure these kids walk miles every day. I guess that's what happens when you don't know any different. It's just another day. One thing that Don and I couldn't quite get over um, when we were out and about, uh, especially in the mornings when we see the kids out for school, is how well the kids are looked after. Um, they have really nice sharp uniforms, white socks, like there's not a speck on them. It, it really is amazing. There's definitely um, a sense of community here and uh, they really do care about the kids, which is amazing. Just beginning our chimp trek today. What? It could be baboons. What other monkeys, Donna? I don't know. Some snakes. Hopefully we won't find snakes today. And I think that's it. <laughs> Let's go do it. Got your stick, you ready, baby? Yeah. Yeah. See, most of the time is when we are in the forest looking for chimpanzees. Uh, it's not easy when in one place to look through and see them. So we have got different ways that we used to find the chimpanzees. One, we are listening to their voices. You know, chimpanzees have got loud voices and they are most of the time making noise. So we listen to their voice and follow its direction. Maybe one of us knows how the chimpanzees sound. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can try mimicking their sound, but I can't do it perfectly like how they do it. Maybe I will try. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. It's like a warning call. That's wild. <laughs> wow. They're gonna move again. It's all good. Oh yeah, a couple up there. Oh, he's big. Oh, there's a big nest up there. That's a male chimpanzee. He's big. Wow, bigger, right? <laughs> that's cool. Eh? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She should be coming down this one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I got it. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> that should look so cool, Donna. Her bum looks faint and swollen. Yeah, oh. that's a sign that she's on hip. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. There's a couple up there now. <laughs> this was probably our highlight of our trip here in Uganda. 
bringing this suitcase full of goodies for the kids. They were wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure. We couldn't have had a better ambassador to give these things to the kids than Donna. She's a natural. <laughs> It really was amazing how welcome these kids and the teachers made us feel. We had hardly anything for all these kids and uh, they just made us feel so welcome and we were so thankful. I just wish we could have brought some more suitcases. I, mean, I, I could have did this all day, every day. No <laughs> okay, we got to get going, I think, guys. There you go, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for letting us come visit your school. Having a little pee, yeah? <laughs> Using the bush bathroom. He has all the time he needs. That's right. <laughs> Don't scare me, I can pee when I want. <laughs>